Hidden Object Guru here with another Week in Review. This one for Week 11 of the uh, Year of Big Fish Games. Our week, as usual, started off with a rerun with Hidden Expedition, The Golden Secret. Seems like a fun game. Maybe I'll get to it at some point, but, you know, we've already played it. The day after was Caves and Castles Underworld, which is a match three game that uses match three gameplay as a way to help you explore caves, all towards the larger goal of saving a colony of, like, ring-tailed puppy monsters. So, yeah, I, I got that one right away, and I'm continuing to play it. It's pretty fantastic. It's not my game of the week, but if you're looking for a really good match three game, you can do a lot worse than Caves and Castles Underworld. The next day was Parker and Lane, Criminal Justice Collector's Edition, which, I mean, you know what I got to say about this. We all know what I've got to say about this. I have no patience for time management games, and this one did not change my mind. I'm sure it's well made, it seems completely competent, and I'm kind of curious to see where the story goes, but they're not getting $20 out of me to find out. Lost Grimoires 2 Shard of Mysteries, which we covered more than a year ago, so no. Next up was Dark Parables Return of the Salt Princess. Now I'm not familiar with the Salt Princess Parable, but it was pretty good as a game. Great graphics, great puzzles, super intriguing story. There was a crazy monster man running around trying to kill people. There was a princess and a bunch of uh, magic using royal guards for her. And most importantly, she turned people and things into salt by summoning up salt dragonflies and having them kamikaze themselves into things. So like interesting world, interesting game. I'm excited to get back to it at some point. Speaking of, the next day was Mystery of the Ancient's Black Dagger, which, uh, yeah, I, I really do owe it to myself to finish this one. You know, there's an evil king, a Sauron-type figure. He puts his soul into a dagger. He has an elf who becomes immortal to go and stab descendants of the people who killed him. Really fascinating stuff. I promise we will get back to it later this month. And then, of course, was the final one, Sunday's Game, Mystery Tales, The Other Side, which... It's a great premise. Tentacles are coming out of some evil televisions and killing people all over town, and only you can stop them. I want to stop them. And this is from the same developers as The Labyrinths of the World, A Dangerous Game. And they're known for being unusually fair about puzzles, being great at hidden object games, and being one of the few developers who have a bunch of different kinds of collectibles, but are very careful to lay out instructions for how to find those collectibles. So I can't say enough good things about this one. It is the game of the week. And I think the pattern really is for Big Fish. They know the star game, like they know the game that's just great and they always put it out on a Sunday. So expect that to continue. All right, uh, that's been the week of, in review. I will see you back here next week for uh, week 12. So let's look forward to that. But until then, au revoir.